Hey, Psych2Goers. Would you know where to start if someone asked you to describe yourself? Personality is complicated, but fortunately, psychologists have come up with five key factors to assess it. OCEAN is an acronym relating to a person's openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, respectively. To better understand what OCEAN is and to see where you fall under each category, let's explore the five big personality traits and signs that you score high or low in each area. Let's begin. O, openness. Are you a creative person? Do you like to adventure out of your comfort zone and have new experiences? These are just a few traits in people with high levels of openness. Generally, people who are open are just that. They're open to new ideas and like to explore creatively. If you're not a very open person, you may find you're more traditional, liking concrete facts over abstract ideas, and you like things to stay the way they are. Here are a few signs of high openness. You prefer and embrace abstract concepts and thinking. You enjoy creative endeavors and innovation. You enjoy new activities and hobbies. And here are a few signs of low openness. You're a concrete thinker that prefers solid facts over more free-form ideas. You prefer tradition and keeping things the same. You're rigid in routine and practices. Up next is C, conscientiousness. Are you someone who is highly organized and goal-oriented and always on your game and prepared to take on challenges? These are all indications of a high level of conscientiousness. Conscientious people have a good sense of control over themselves and their surroundings, and they make sure to have a plan for what they may face. People who are less conscientious may be more unstructured, disorganized, and tend to procrastinate. Here are a few signs of high conscientiousness. You're schedule-oriented and goal-focused. You have an eye for detail and take care of the small stuff. You plan for your future and are ready to take on challenges. And here are a few signs of low conscientiousness. You're disorganized and cluttered. You're careless and impulsive. You leave things until the last minute. E is for extroversion. Do you find yourself more stimulated by social situations? And do you enjoy conversation and having a giant circle of people near you? These are signs of extroversion. Extroverted people are energized by socialization and are happy to go out. People low in this trait are more reserved, prefer their own company or smaller parties, and may be more thoughtful in what they say and do. Here are a few signs of high extroversion. You enjoy being the center of attention. You're people-oriented in almost every situation. You speak before thinking. And here are a few signs of low extroversion. You prefer solitude. You're drained by socialization. You're careful with words and think before speaking. A, agreeableness. How are you with other people? Do you find it easy to connect with others and share with them? Do you enjoy helping and caring for others? These are attributes of people with high levels of agreeableness. While they don't have to be the most extroverted, they do find value in others and want to connect with them. People low in agreeableness tend to be more competitive, blunt, and opinionated. Here are a few signs of high agreeableness. You enjoy creating connections with others. You're empathetic and compassionate to other people's needs. You contribute to the community. And here are a few signs of low agreeableness. You're callous towards others. You're bitter and antisocial. You manipulate others to meet your own needs. And finally, N. Neuroticism. How would you describe yourself emotionally? Are you someone who tends to worry a lot and has difficulties dealing with stress? These are indicators of high levels of neuroticism. People high in this trait may be more sensitive and need support in hard times. Those low in this trait tend to be more relaxed, resilient, and collected. Here are a few signs of high neuroticism. You're moody and emotional. You have low tolerance to stress. You're always on high alert. And here are a few signs of low neuroticism. You're calm and collected, even under stress. You're easygoing. You're mentally and emotionally stable. Personality is complex. However, an acronym like OCEAN is a great way to start. How would you assess yourself? What areas do you rank high or low in? Each person is unique and answers can vary. 
but let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, remember to share it with others. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, friends, take care and thanks for watching.